Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs, going to train them, get as much blood flowing in them as possible. Going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, followed by a deep squat, part of our dynamic stretching routine, making sure we are mobile. Ignore the part where my camera setup was about to trip someone. But yes, continuing, make sure that you get your dynamic stretching in. If you require, you can get at least a few seconds of cardio going on. Again, this part of the video is 2.5x sped up because it's very boring to watch me do uh, see me doing the dynamic stretching in a slow and a controlled manner. But I think by now you already know how to do it. And if, if this is something which you prefer not to do, this particular stretch, you can do any other stretch which ensures that you take your important joints to the range of motion before you start lifting weight with them. Now it is also vital that we sit in a deep squat at least once in a day. Pre-workout is an ideal timing to start. Now for the first exercise, I am going to start with a warm-up of reverse leg lunges on the Smith machine. You can do one leg at a time, you can do alternate leg as you wish. The positioning of your leg should be in such a way that your knee drives forward than your toes so you want your knee to go more ahead than your toes if you're not comfortable with that obviously you can position yourself or take a stance wherein your knee doesn't drive more than your toes so i hope i'm making sense basically the leg which is bending in the forward the knee shouldn't go or should go way ahead than your toes so that positioning greatly also changes the distribution of effort this particular exercise is kind of a entire leg compound movement. It will really, really challenge you, especially your hamstring and glutes would be on fire because every time you have to get back up, you have to squeeze your glutes really hard. So four sets of these with 10 to 12 repetitions, each leg in one go should be challenging enough. Weight increments, I leave it up to you. Take the weight which you are comfortable with. Make sure it is challenging and go through the repetitions as slowly in a controlled manner as possible. Make sure you do the hip thrust in every repetition. Squeeze your glutes with every repetition. Get into complete knee lockout every time you come back up. As you can see here, I was doing alternative leg. But once again, you can do one leg at a time, 10 to 12 repetitions and switch the other leg. Post completing those, we move on to our second exercise, which is leg extensions, three sets. 20 repetitions. Now, by the time you reach leg extensions, your leg should be fried because the reverse lunges on the Smith machine, four sets of those is extremely demanding both cardiovascularly and also on your muscular strength. So, I mean, this wouldn't be easy. So take a weight, which is just enough for you to get 20 good hard repetitions. Take the, uh, you know, the weight all the way down, feel the stretch and come all the way up try to pull uh, push some you know partial repetitions here and there wherein you can do lower lengthened partials or shortened partials to finish off at a high but yes three sets 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds rest in between should be ideal the when i mean partial repetitions it's basically you don't do the full range of motion once you're done with 20 repetitions or full range of motion you can do partial range of motion in the lower part and in the top part 10 repetitions in the lower part, then 10 repetitions in the top part to finish off your legs at a high. That would kill your legs. That would definitely, definitely give you a lot of blood pump. But yes, do try that out. It's amazing and strong way to finish off an exercise. Post completing our leg extensions, we move on to our regular seated hamstring curls. Now, if you don't have this particular equipment, you can also do lying down hamstring curls. And if you don't have that too, you can do a stiff leg deadlift or rdls just to work our hamstrings curling is my preferred way to do it but yes if you don't have the option to do it you can always do the other exercises to work on your hamstrings but remember the first exercise which we have done has already overloaded your glutes and your hamstrings so this wouldn't be basically walk in a park so make sure you're well hydrated and take sufficient amount of break at least two minutes in between the exercises and 45 to 60 seconds in between the sets again we don't want to compromise the quality of repetitions we always want to get full range of motion controlled 
always control the weight you shouldn't let the momentum take away or swing around and that's how we achieve a lot of muscle growth and that's it we are done simple three exercises for legs great way to finish it off i have seen amazing growth in my legs thanks to keeping it simple and keeping it hard we finish off with a good amount of static stretching both our quads and our hamstrings quad stretching pretty simple place your ankle at a height mostly at hip level behind your glutes and stretch your quads try to stand as straight as possible feel the stretch you can do it multiple number of times hold it there for 15 to 20 seconds 20 30 also maybe but yes couple of times is more than sufficient and after completing those you can definitely go for your hamstring stretches now if you prefer to do so you can also add a 10 to 15 minute any kind of cardio you want steady state interval training high intensity cardio because to finish off at that high level it's pretty good but yes you need to have some kind of a drink in between maybe a protein shake or some kind of a glucose intake and that's it we are done for today thank you so much for watching the video i hope you like this short and intense workout and i hope the workout is as good and effective for you as it was for me once again thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet liked the video please do like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video have a great day